What's up guys, and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install and use a permissions plugin called Permissions EX. And this permission allows you to use different world permissions and databases. If you're not familiar with that, then just ignore what I just said and we'll continue on. So the first thing you want to do is click download on the right. Once you get to this page in the description, and then click download right here. The file will be downloaded, open it up, and it will bring three jar files, so drag these three things into your plugins folder. Alright? So once you drag that, exit out of that, and then and restart your server. And it should say things like permissions ex initialize stuff like that so once it's done type stop and then hit enter alright saving chunks okay we're good so in the plugins folder three new folders should come up in the chat manager a config file has come up too and you see that I have a different program than you have this is highly recommended I, I recommend you download this program called notepad plus plus it just makes everything easier and this program is free so just click download when you come to this page once that's installed you should have this program a program like this alright so chat manager allows you to use prefixes and suffixes so if you want prefixes and suffixes enable this to true Prefixes and suffixes are like the words that come before a message. So you can change this up if you don't want a suffix, then you can remove that. But I'll have a suffix, so I'll just leave that like that. And range mode, that is the distance in which a player can talk to another player. So let's say a player is 100 yards within radius of another player. But if they go above 100, then they cannot talk to that player. They will not see each other's messages and stuff like that. So if you want a range mode, you can enable that to true, and you can change the distance. But otherwise, you would leave that as false. Make sure that this is true, by the way. So yeah, save that, and then close out of it. Make sure you hit save. Don't forget that. And I'll explain modify world and open that config file up. Modify world, you can change whatever you want to true or false. And this all affects to the permissions you have for different worlds. Now we're going to go over permissions ex config file. And permissions backend, that's the type of database you have. So if you don't even have a database, then just ignore what I'm saying until we get through this. So if you have a database, then you're gonna want type type of file or the type of database you have. And you're gonna want to change these two things. If you want super perms, enable this to true. Otherwise, X out and open up permissions. Alright, so once this file is open, a permissions plugin allows you to have different groups. And as you see, it goes down here, and the first group that you see is default. And then default, you see it again because if this is the first group that you want players to be when they join your server, then you would set that to true. So that's the default group. Default is the default group that a player becomes once they join your server. And underneath is permissions. This is a permission node. And a permission node is something that allows a player to do something on your server. So ba like based on what plugins you have, you'd use different permission nodes that will allow a player to use those plugins. So we're going to create a new group and I'll show you how to put different permissions in. So hit enter and backspace. And never, never use tabs. Just 
use spaces and make sure it's lined up with the group above so make sure it's lined up with default and we're going to make a new group called builder and type semicolon and hit enter backspace make sure you backspace after you hit enter by the way and so we're going to line this up with permissions and we're going to put our own permission in so let's say we're using a plugin called fly plugin and this plugin has permissions like use fly and so if you give a group that permission then that will let them fly that will let the group that you gave it to that will let them fly so use you type use that fly after the semicolon don't forget the semicolon and the space you type in your permission node that you want to give a group and then that's basically how you put in a permission alright if you don't want them to use fly then just don't give them that permission and now we're going to use prefixes for groups and a prefix is basically the group name that you see before a player's name or message so back enter backspace then line it up with permissions and type prefix colon then put a single quote and then we'll use brackets then type the group name you can make it whatever you want all caps just whatever you want the group's name to look like so builder then close bracket then single quote to close it all and what permissions ex allows you to do it allows you to use color codes so you can also see the group name in a different color and color codes work with and and then the letter number so and to turn everything after that dark green so what you see you see builder as dark green color and then after that you'll see the message will change it turn the everything after to and f which is white so everything after that the player's message would be white and now let's give the default group a prefix also so line it up type prefix colon space quote we'll give the default group the color we'll give them seven because that's dark gray then we'll use brackets and then we'll type default Ooh, default brackets and then after that they'll have white text close it with quotations and now we're gonna work with ranks so you're gonna type wanna type in options enter then line it up I'd say about where the O is then type rank hit space and then we're gonna give this rank a number based on their group so the bigger the number then the lower the rank is so we'll give this group 800 and you can rank or rank a person based on their group so if a person's rank is let's say 800 then they'll be ranked in the default group but if this person is ranked in the 700 then they'll be a higher rank and they'll be moved to the group builder so that's basically how ranks work. The higher the number, then the lower the rank is. So that's why default is a lower rank and builder is a higher rank. So you can you can rank players based on their groups. And now we're going to work with something that only permissions EX allows you to do. Permissions EX allows players to have different permissions in different worlds. And what I mean by that 
is that it allows players to aside from the regular permissions they get different permissions for certain worlds so type worlds colon and then right about where rank is you'll type in the the world so let's give it world nether since that's already a world and then right about where the D is you'll type in permissions and it works just the same so you're gonna type in your permissions right here use the dash space and then type in the permission we'll give it a random name like um hmm build permission build dot houses so with this permission it allows you to build houses in the world nether and it also gives you the permissions that the rest of the group gives you so it gives you this permission plus the other permissions in your group except with this permission it just allows you to use this in this world so you can add other worlds and put other permissions in if you want to you can even add different prefixes for when you're in different worlds and you can add different worlds too just depending on how you want your permissions set up and then that with this asterisk mode or this asterisk it allows you to use all the plugins or it allows you to use all the permissions in that plugin so if you give it this asterisk at the end then it allows you to use all the permissions in that plugin so let's use this for example colon fly we'll use that fake fly plugin that I just made up randomly so fly dot asterisk and this will give you all the permissions in that plugin without typing every single permission that's basically the asterisk so now we're gonna add users which so type users colon oh forgot the s so type users colon enter then about where the r is about right here you're gonna type in the name of a player that you want to give permi special permissions to so I'll type my name in. So, so about four spaces. One, two, three, four. You'll type in group colon enter. Then you're gonna type in the group name that you're gonna put them in. I'll 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 put myself in the builder group. Hit enter. Now we're gonna add special permissions for this user. So, and then. Here we're going to type in permissions, colon, since we want to give this guy special permission, we'll give him the, f give myself the fly dot ashtray. This will let me use all the permissions in that plugin, all the commands and all that stuff. So you can add different users, put them in different groups, use, let them use special permissions, and let them have different prefixes too. So if so you want to add a new user, you just hit enter, new user, put them right here, hit colon. Okay, and the last thing I want to touch on is inheritance. Inheritance it allows a group to inherit all the permissions from another group. So the permissions of its own group and the permissions of another group without typing in all over again. I'll show you what I mean. So enter inheritance colon. Then right here you're going to type in the group that you want to inherit its permissions. So I want to inherit the defaults group permissions so I'm going to type in default. You can add other groups that you want to inherit. I don't know, admin so it just inherits the permissions from these groups that you add under inheritance so that's basically it before I end this video I also want to share something with you guys
that can really help check for any errors in your YML file, which is this file right here. So to check for any errors, you copy everything in your YML file, and you go to this website, it's in the description, delete all this, and then paste in what you have. And if it comes out like this, this means it's clean. It has no errors. But, if you do something wrong, as in forget a colon, then it will show you the error and where it's at. So right here, inheritance, it says while scanning a simple key, blah blah blah, you forgot the colon, and then once you put the colon in, it'll come out all clean and everything's good. So let's say you also forget a space, it'll come out, read the message, it'll show you where it's at, line 20, fix it, it's all good. So you take a look at this, check for any errors, that's, yeah, and then that's, t that's that tool you can use. So save this, it's already saved, exit out of that, and then restart your server. Once you restart your server, that's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like.